we have such an interesting world around us. So if you look at something as simple as a rusty block of iron, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of scientific insight there, or a whole lot of use there. But the more we are able to investigate these systems and the more we have access to facilities to investigate these systems, the more we can learn about the world around us and develop it into new and transformative technologies. My name is Rachel Nickel. I'm a PhD student at the University of Manitoba. I study Epsilon iron oxide and it's a really interesting kind of new phase of iron oxide or rust. This in particular we're interested in because it's a hard magnet. So a hard magnet is going to be incredibly useful for motors. So if I have something with a motor, be it a blender to a car engine to a plane engine, if I want to be able to start it moving, the initial kickoff to the motion requires a magnet. And the magnets that we're using right now are hard permanent magnets, but they're rare earth magnets. And so those are hard to track down, they require mining and processing, and they're often found in regions of the world that are under conflict. We use 20 BM at the advanced photon source, which is in conjunction with the Canadian light source. And so we shine the x-rays into our sample and it basically bounces around. And how it bounces gives us detailed information about the structure of our nanoparticles. And so getting scientific insight into what this material is, is the first step into then deciding what can we do with this? And how do we apply this into the real world?